What's going on guys? Big BP back with the Game Pace Arcades video. On this one today, we're gonna to be doing a buyer's guide to buy Vic cabinets. Whether you want a base cabinet or you want a fully loaded arcade system, consider this video a how-to or a guide to buying a buy Vic cabinet. They're nice, right? I know, I know. <laughs> Alright guys, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Even made it simpler. I was looking at Linktree. I have it in my YouTube descriptions. I have it on my Instagram bio. Linktree just has all my socials in one. So there you go. There's no excuses for that. Be sure to follow everything on socials at Vic underscore VP. Obviously, if you see all my YouTube channels or if you are getting this link here, you are inquiring about a buy Vic cabinet. And we're we'll doing a lot of talking on this one. We're going to discuss the options what to look at and also questions that I do get a lot. Ever since I kind of shown off this design, I've gotten a lot of questions, a lot of emails, a lot of inquiries, I should say, to, these, to, this, to this cabinet design. I have everybody that wants either just a basic cabinet or they want a fully loaded, decked out system. I have a bunch of questions and I have a lot of answers to go over. So on this one, we're gonna be looking at like base cabinet details, more about like, you know, what is possible, the add-ons, the control schemes, I'm gonna be talking a lot as far as the cabinets, but I'm mostly talking about base. If you are looking for just a base cabinet, this video is for you. If you're looking at a full decked out system, you can see my YouTube channel videos, you'll see builds that I've done, and that's kind of a, a different scenario. Ever since I've done the Vader cabinet, I've gotten a big influx of questions and inquiries about base cabinets. Biggest, like number one question people ask me, is if I could flat pack. I'm gonna go full in depth on that, but before I do, I just wanna kinda of explain it. If you've seen Vader's videos, there's usually two videos. I have a promo video, and then I have one or two full in depth details. For example, Project Canada was actually a two video thing. I always explain exactly what is happening, what, they, what the customer inquired about. There's a lot of talking, so be sure to watch the videos. Now, when it came to Vader, I specifically said in the video that Vader wanted just a base cabinet as the customer had a control panel already. What does that mean? That customer wanted this. That is all he wanted. He wanted a base cabinet with artwork. So usually when I do get a customer that says, hey, I want a base cabinet because I have everything else, I go, okay, cool. You want just the base or do you need a control panel as well? Oh, well, Vic, I don't have a control panel, obviously. I'm like, I don't know that, obviously, but if you are looking for a full system, then it's a whole different thing. You're not really looking at Vader. Vader is half of it. Again, he had his own control panel. The big thing that you could let me know is, hey, Vic, I need a full cabinet. I need the control panel. I need the base. I need artwork done. I need the holes and everything done on the control panel. I need the T-molding. There's a lot that goes into it. So again, you could get just a base cabinet. I could make you just a control panel alone. We could do the whole thing, complete system and all, or just artwork and all that. There's so many things that I could do. The possibilities with me are endless. That is why I always say in my videos, I make these custom made to order. If you look carefully, there are no side panels lying around. You might have some wood, but not side panels. I don't have any, I don't have like 40 of these side panels made, no. I do this custom made to order. You as the customer have a, I have to ask you a couple of questions. You have to give me a couple of answers just to figure out the dimensions that are needed for your cabinet. Now the timing of this video is perfect because I do have right now the next 40 terabyte Ultimate Arcade is being set up and configured as you can see here. And I do have a Pandora's Box build coming up. And I figured, hey, this is awesome. Customers could see what a base kind of no artwork, which is another question I do get. Again, I'm gonna answer a lot of questions, but the big thing is right now, these are two very specific custom made cabinets. When you inquire, the first thing I ask you is I need you to measure all the doorways. Wherever your cabinet is gonna end up, if it's gonna go down the stairs, up the stairs, I need you to measure every single walkway it is going to pass through. These cabinets are not designed to be taken apart. I build my cabinets like real arcade cabinets with battens. I use one by two pine wood as my battens. And again, later on in the video, I'll actually show you and I'll timestamp it, the actual construction of the cabinet. They are not designed to be taken apart. Really, they come in two separate pieces. You have your base right here, and if you do need the control panel, the control panel is totally separate. 
My control panel is right now for four player decks. You're looking at 48 to 50 inches wide. Why? I've yet to meet anybody that has that big of a doorway entrance, um, unless you're in like Texas. But again, the big thing is that I do this custom made to order. Out here in New York, doorways illegally I think have to be like 27 inches wide. I don't know, 32? I don't know. I'm not gonna get technical. My big thing is that I do need you to measure. If you look very carefully, you might not visually see it, but these right here are two different widths. This cabinet right now is 27 inches wide because that is what the customer needed. This cabinet right here is going out to a restaurant, to Pandora's Boxfield. This is 32 inches wide. I normally make my cabinets 32 inches wide, but for this specific one, he actually, I told him, you gotta measure everything. He had a 32 inch door opening. His front door was 32 inches, but it's gotta go down the stairs. I told him, make sure you measure the stairs. And sure enough, down the stairs, there is a pipe, an enclosed pipe that is not removable. And he only had 28 inches of an opening. That then I, I usually subtract it one inch. It's 27 inches on this cabinet. That is how in depth and in detail I get. Again, these cabinets are not designed to be taken apart. You could technically do it, but you will need to clamp it back together and screw it back. And I really don't suggest that, but it is doable. But again, that just goes to show you how in depth and how detailed the builds get. So once we establish whether you just need the base or you need a complete cabinet we're going to go into details as far as the control panel i'm going to ask you hey do you need four players you want two players maybe you don't want any players at all you want to kind of do like a dedicated shooter like my house of rock now we get into the control panel details if you look kind of carefully i mean i can bring you in closer on that secret wars has its own specific layout it does have players one and two as eight button layout players three and four as six button layout he does have a dedicated four-way on it he does have a three inch trackball on it and he does also have the tron flight stick on it. You might not need all that. He also has two cup holders, I should say. You might not need all that. Depending on the build, I can help you out and give you my suggestions. This customer specifically said, hey Vic, I want to do a 40 tire right. What do you recommend? I said eight button, six button. This way you kind of future proof yourself. You can play the current gen PC games such as Streets of Rage and all that. TMNT, Shredder's Revenge does need six buttons altogether. So he's future proofed. This specific build that I have in front of me right here is a Pandora's box build. Kind of basic, kind of simple. This one is getting a six button layout for player one and two and four button layout for players three and four. No trackball on it, but he did want a dedicated four way and he wanted four cup holders instead of two. So again, I'm gonna go full in depth. I'm gonna ask you a lot of questions. Depending on the hardware you use, I also do suggest that you send me the hardware. Depends on what it is. Buttons are buttons, that's easy stuff. When it came to, for example, like this, the Tron stick, I've never experienced a Tron stick, so I had to get a Tron stick, I had to see the base plate, and then make the CNC file accordingly. Same thing with like the trackball, but I use the U-Track, so the flush mount. Nothing to worry with that. Another prime example is when I did Project Canada. Project Canada had servos. That is your standard joystick template with an extra two to three inches for the motor. So. Again, when it comes to like little hardware like that, specific hardware, I personally do want that sent to me. No, I'm not gonna pay for that shipping. You want, you gotta send it to me because I, I wanna make sure the CNC cuts it perfectly. For example, I, have, I do have a customer, potentially into the future, hopefully, he is looking for a Steam Deck to be installed on the control panel. I've never seen a Steam Deck, a Steam Deck? Stream Deck? The Stream Deck, the buttons, whatever. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rectangle. I'm the type of person I tell them, listen, when it comes time for it, I need you to send it to me because I don't know if it's flush mountable. There's a lot of questions that I have to ask and you obviously don't know because you don't, you don't know, um, meaning that you might not even be considering all the questions and my mind goes a mile a minute. So in that situation, I will need this, this stream deck. I do need that in my hand. So there is stuff that I need. I've also done a handful of customers that do ask me and I, I give them the option. I'll cut the deck. I could always install the buttons. That's not... That's like, what, a half hour of my life, that's a-okay. But I've had people ask me to wire their, their control panels. I normally don't like to do that. I will do it. Obviously, there is a fee for it. I will do it. I'll be more than happy to do it for you because you might not know wiring. But my issue, my suggestion is I might not be wiring it correctly to your liking. It, I, I personally don't like to wire other people's decks, especially if it's not my system. You know, hey Vic, I'm running my own launch box. Great, if you're doing that and you know your details like that, I suggest that you do the wiring. I'll mount iPads, I'll mount the Zim, I'll mount the encoders, as long as you send it to me, 
I'll mount it. But as far as like wiring, I usually don't like to do that. For example, like my hyperspin setup, look at player one. Player one is an eight button layout. I wire that in a certain way. Obviously, yes, it's buttons one to eight. But when it comes to like start and coin, it's not nine and 10. I have that wired to a different number. So if you need me to wire it, that's fine. I could do it, but I normally suggest that you wire it. Now, after we kind of figure out our control panel, ad, the big question is, hey Vic, I need artwork. So I do have the option, I will give you the artwork. I, pr I pay a price for artwork. There is a price that I pay just to get it printed. That doesn't include like me kind of sitting down and configuring it and making the artwork. That's just me, that's just in the package that I give you. If you don't like my artwork, you'll have to get a graphic designer involved. Be my guest, You're, that's on you, that's not on me, I don't care, that's on you, okay? Now, the big thing I wanna get at is that again, my CNC is not 100% perfect. What am I getting at? If you look at Project Canada, and if you watch my video that I said it, Project Canada only had these four little details that he had basically a kind of shape going over the joystick and it was basically a shape it was kind of like a, a cylinder and it would say player one i normally don't do that on my artwork if you look carefully at all the artwork i've done i don't have rings around the buttons that say or or, or you know designs around the buttons because i know for a fact at the time of this video with my cnc that i personally have it is not 100 percent. it will not line up perfectly so i don't do that I'll give you like a screenshot of like Secret Wars, you can kind of see it's just a comic themed stuff. There is no, hey, like this, this, this rectangle for these two buttons equals player one start. I don't do that. I usually put that in the button. I make the button labels for that. Just keep in mind when it comes to artwork at the time of shooting, I can't do like the perfect circle kind of labels and the circle outline. I can't do that. I, I know for a fact I can't do that. I learned my lesson with Project Canada and I just can't do that right now. Now, going back to it, like I said, some people just order bases. They don't even want artwork because when I do mention the price for artwork, their eyes go like this and they go, you know what, I just want to get work done and I'll add the artwork later on. Just came out again, like I said, each cabinet is unique. I do have like a template, but templates change and the template is not perfect 100,000%. It's just, I could guarantee you that it's not 100%. So if you wanted to print your own graphics later on, I could send you a template. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be 100% guaranteed. It's, I just, I know what it is. I know how I work it. I would rather apply the graphic because artwork for this, there's a lot of artwork. As far as like square footage, there is a lot. And I'm going to bring up the secret words behind me. There's a lot that goes into it. As you can see, you have the base. You have the TV mount area here. You have the marquee, the speaker area. We have the control panel. We have the four inch strip just underneath the control panel along. You got the kick plate and you got the side panels. Project Canada had artwork on the rear of the cabinet. There is a lot of artwork that is done. It's kind of cool that you can kind of see it, you know, bare and then with full blown artwork. Now, mentioning about artwork, I always just, just get the artwork. You know, whatever it is, get it because a lot of people see this and you don't see it that closely no matter what. No, I don't care what you say, no matter what, whether it's the router, whether it's the, you're gonna see nicks in the wood. I get the wood from a lumber yard, they give it to me with a couple of nicks and dings. That's just a granted thing. Artwork will cover it. I'll take you in closer, for example, on this control panel, there's already like three nicks that I could see. And again, artwork does cover it. Vic, no, CNCs are supposed to be designed to be perfect. And no, it, 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 you will get nicks. Even if you do with a Game Room Solutions cabinet, they will, there is nicks. I can guarantee it there's gonna be nicks. I will always try to not have any nicks, obviously, but you will have a nick or two. There's nothing you can really do about it. It's not detrimental, it's not awful, but I do have people that they want just a bare cabinet. I'm just giving you the warning that there will be nicks. Why? I don't know why, that's, that's what it is. Oh, then I don't want it. Okay, then get artwork. If you don't want to see the nicks, get the artwork. Now, one big thing I do wanna mention as far as artwork, because you can see it here, okay? I, I, I use Justin, go for those decals, he's gonna be my go-to guy. He's my go, he has never failed me, he's my go-to guy. I, when I was doing Project Canada, we actually sat down, I asked him to him about maybe two hours, we were trying to calculate on how to save money on vinyl. Vinyl printers, they, they charge based on square footage. That's what Justin does for me, they charge based on square footage. How much print square footage? That's what he charges me. So if you look carefully, I'm gonna have to definitely snap, like I'm gonna kind of 
post pictures. Take a look at real quick like the side panel here, the side profile here, okay? You see, again, this is done, artwork is done on this. You see what you see. I basically take a razor blade and I cut my edges. What you don't see is what I purchased from Gulf Coast Decal, which is a huge rectangular piece. I get a piece that goes from here out, out to here. So essentially I have vinyl that goes here. Why, Vic? Isn't that more expensive? Yes, it is. Honestly though, it, it costs me about 20 bucks. I would rather spend that 20 bucks knowing that I don't have to worry about any errors. If let's say I made the file and I made it to this with a half of an inch bleed, I have a chance of it not fitting. I would rather spend the 20 bucks that comes out of my pocket and I'd rather have peace of mind. Again, you don't see that, but that is, that is what it is. That is what you see. So again, that's the side panel there. When it comes to the marquee area, this TV mount area, and I mentioned it in a past video, I don't have the control panel like screwed down, but as you can see me moving it, it's not moving. Great. Um, what I mentioned in my, in my video, I forgot which one I did it, but I purposely put vinyl the entire rear here. So you have speaker panel, marquee, and the rear, right? You might be seeing this like, oh, whoa, that looks awesome. Yes, I'm paying for that vinyl. I will put artwork on it. This is going to get a 55 inch screen. Why do I put vinyl on it? You might get a smaller TV. Maybe you get a 32. If you put a small TV, you will see the top of it. What am I getting at? And I'll do it in the, at the end of the video. There's going to be a TV mount here. There's going to be a 55 inch TV here. This right here is going to disappear. You're not going to see it because the TV covers it. I am just the type of person where I'm paying for the vinyl here and for another 20 bucks, I could just complete it. I will pay that 20 bucks. Just that's, I like, to, I'm talking a lot about artwork, but just to give you the mindset that I might as well give you the artwork here. It looks great. It looks awesome without the TV on. It looks like a piece of work and a piece of art, but yes, essentially the TV is here. I don't need this vinyl, but also like when you're kind of going, depending on where the cabinet is, when you're on the side of it, you will still see this. And instead of just seeing a black cabinet, I might as well spend the 20 bucks and put the artwork to it. I don't mind it. Now, when it comes to the control panel, control panel, I don't do plexi. I can't cut plexi. My machine can't do it. I tried it one time. It came out awful. It actually melted. It came out awful. So Justin Go from Cells does an embossed, they call it embossed textured print. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. I do it on all my builds. I love it. Love it. You got your control panel here and you also do have the four inch, four to three and a half inch, depending on your you know, needs for the control panel. There is also artwork along the bottom here. It looks great, it looks awesome. This is like an awesome scenario. I, I love how this came out. It's just little details. You know, I could leave it black like this, but as you see how the control panel is, it is on a piano hinge. Again, same thing, I don't have this control panel mounted down. It's on a piano hinge. You see the piano hinge here. You don't see it there. So again, a lot of stuff that comes into play. It, I love it. This this is all. It's just clean. That's that's what it is. It's clean. Then you get into the kick plate and so forth. Kick plate on this one is going to have a USB. I have it already cut. I have to just puncture the vinyl. That is it. So again, when it comes to artwork, there's a lot going on. Project Canada did the rear of his cabinet. I normally don't do that. And if you didn't need the rear, it's the price of just this piece of artwork alone. I mean, you're looking at 72 inches tall. That's a lot. It's basically another side panel is what it is. So just so you guys can see how this is, this is considered, I say it in many videos, this is my marquee here. So if you wanted to put your name here or something like that, this is considered marquee area for me here. It goes right underneath the TV. This is speaker panel here. So you might be able to see it there. I do have the speaker holes drilled out. I'm doing a Z533 on this. So I'm going to put them underneath so they're hidden. But also the Z533 has a very big knob, control volume knob. That's going to go right here. It's going to sit right here. I have the notch out here for the cord. That is the speaker panel there. And then you have the TV mount area there. So now also as far as like the TV mount area, you could kind of see it, but I do have two holes here, depending on the TV. For example, Project Canada, his, all of his inputs were on the left side of the TV. So I, I did one hole, but I always do two holes. This way could run the HDMI cables and the power cable 
and such. Again, TV mount is gonna go here, and I'm gonna put it on before the video ends. The TV mount for this one actually ends on the T-molding. That TV mount is like edge to edge here, which is okay. It is gonna be perfectly sturdy and all that, but again, once I put the TV on it, you will no longer see this beautiful Black Panther and Spidey collaboration here. So awesome, we covered artwork. T-molding is T-molding. Um, I believe, I wanna get you, I don't wanna say the wrong number, but I will give you the ballpark number on it. In T-molding, as you can see with the completed kit, you know, and again, if you don't want T-molding, I'm gonna ask you, do you need me to make the T-molding slot? You need to put a router, and you have to slot cut the whole thing. So if you plan to do T-molding in the future, you gotta let me know, hey Vic, I don't want your T-molding now, but I need you to cut it. I need you to cut the slot for it later on. I could do that. You really can't see it, but I believe it is close to 180 to 200 feet of T-molding. Here. Yes, no BS, That's, that is what it is complete wrapped around the sides the control panel you basically get two times yes that is how many how much footage i need for t-molding this is great too i love this. this is the dual tone me and the customer going back and forth he saw the comic build we were going to do the black and the chrome slit but he was like nah i don't want to do that he wanted just like flat straight colors red and black i think it looked i think it came out amazing i'm really excited for how this came out and like I said, the artwork style, I've gone through, no joke, on this one, it was about eight different variations. And I don't mind that. That is, honestly, artwork takes just about a week just for me to get, meaning me to sit down, complete one side. The way I usually do it is I give you one side panel, and if you like the vibe of it, if you like you know, where I'm going with it, then we proceed. On this one, for example, uh, the Black Panther side, we were actually doing the movie kind of cutouts. We were just doing movie stuff and we had a thought and it just, it was, he was like, no, Vic, just, I, I don't want, whatever you're making right now, I don't want it. So I'll sit down and I'll try my best to get it knocked out and we came to this and I think it looks awesome. It's got this cool comic book vibe, the borders on this, um, you got Spider-Man web borders for the Spidey side and then regular comic book borders for the Black Panther. That's just artwork. We're gonna talk about that on this official bowl, but that is artwork and that is T-Molding. Now we can go ahead and add some more little details such as for the rear, you can let me know if you want LEDs. Usually I always put the LEDs. My cabinets are always on casters. That's a grand, that's a given thing. But as you can see here, LEDs throughout. This is regular RGB standard. These aren't addressable LEDs. Customer is putting a PC, so I always put the three fans for this customer. If you don't want it, you don't request it, I won't charge you for it, I won't put that. You can let me know if you want the power strips, if you want the power plugs. That stuff is an add-on. So just kind of give you the illusion of, and the visual of what could be possible. Again, three PC fans, this does have the power strip in it. PC is going to be in here, all cleaned up and nice and ready to go. Okay. So now real quick, just kind of like the LEDs on it. I do put the LEDs underneath the control panel. So as you can see here, we have it illuminating the kick plate and also the side panels there. That is just something where like, I have to plan for it. The control panel is removable, but you know, LEDs also go with the control panel. So I do have a quick, easy disconnect for it. And again, as you can see, it looks like it is floating LEDs throughout, awesome. Now, I'm right now going to put the TV mount. I'm just going to remove the LED strip. You kind of don't see it there. But I have the LED strip now removed, and now I can remove the control panel. I'm going to make sure the LED strip goes back in the panel, and boom. There you go. So that is how the customer is going to get it. It's going to go down his basement staircase with that, and the control panel will follow it. So now, real quick, as you can see, because I'm going to put the TV up before this video ends, we got the TV mount on now. Oh, Vic, you, you ruined the artwork. I'm not, again, this artwork was not meant to be seen, but it's just there just in case. And as you can see, the control panel is off. Enough space here to run USB wires and all that. And boom, there you go. There is a 55 inch 4K TV now mounted to this Bivic 4 player secret wars cabinet. And as you can see, yes, the artwork that you saw is now gone. 
Uh, like I said before, I personally would rather wrap the entire cabinet in vinyl, minus the rear, unless you need the rear. Um, but I would rather just wrap it. If you do put a smaller TV on it, you do have a chance of now seeing that rear panel. I'm just the type of person where I would rather put the 20 bucks out of my pocket. It doesn't even cost you anything. It's just I would rather put that. Vic, you wasted your time making that artwork though. Not really, if you look carefully, the two images are very easy, kind of simple, kind of on there. Um, but that's, that's what it is. This is what it looks like in its final form when you put a 55 inch screen. Now, I do get a big question. Hey Vic, what if I don't need the screen? What if I have my own screen? That's fine, you could do that. You don't need to supply, I don't need to add the screen to it. The only big thing though is that the TV mount, I kind of mount it according to the TV. So if you do have your own TV, look at like Project Canada, he put an OLED. He sent a picture of it, that thing is razor thin. Uh, but I knew he was gonna do that. I said, listen, get the, get the TV and you have to tell me the distance from the bottom of the TV to the bottom of the vase mount. This way I can kind of figure out where the TV mount will go. If you look very carefully to go back, the TV mount on this cabinet is not exactly in the middle. It's actually a little bit lower because of the TV and the TV mount. So just keep in mind, there's a lot of little things that go in, in, in depth. I get my TVs from Best Buy, or if I find them on sale, you get them at Micro Center. I get, you, it's a TV. I don't, I'm not a wholesaler of TVs. I get TVs according to what I can get. And what I think is the most affordable and good output. TCLs have been amazing. They turn on. If you put it in store mode, they power on once you give the cabinet power. And honestly, the most affordable. And it is true 4K TV. I've done, I have, I've done like six of these. So I have no complaints again. And again, the price is great. You could supply your own TV. I don't have to add the price to it. That is A-OK. -okay. Again, my big thing is I do need to know the dimensions and the measurement from the bottom of the TV to where the bottom of the vase mount is. That's just how I got to mount the TV mount. And in all honesty, if this was being sent out and shipped out, I personally would not want to include the TV. Uh, we run the risk of shipping companies damaging the TV. So I would rather you bring, you have your own TV. Now, though, keep in mind, I should correct myself, talk about Vader. Vader had his own TV. He did have a 50 inch TV, but it was on the older side. What am I getting at? It was, it was, it was a heavy TV. Um, you know, this right now is a current gen 2022 TV, so they're not as heavy. I literally lift this up on my own. I can mount this on my own. Let's put it that way. Um, his TV most likely needed two people to be mounted because it was a little bit heavier. It's still standing. I wouldn't really recommend the very old like plasmas. I wouldn't do that. Uh, just, yeah, you don't want this to tilt and such. It won't because the control panel is heavy on this. But yes, just keep that in mind. If you are gonna supply the TV, Take a look at it. If it's a 1999 or a 20, a 2005 TV, I would probably suggest not doing it because it might be heavy. The technology's changed. TVs get lighter now. So the last thing I'll touch up on is basically where some people ask me about if I could flat pack it. Um, just real quick before I forget, on this cabinet, again, it is a Pandora's box build, so we didn't need to put fans. So there is no fans and so on this, and there's no audio on this because the customer is going to use the TV sound. So again, other little details. This one, I knew I'm going to put a Z533 on it, so I did make the speaker holes for it. Project Canada had those big monitors that I had to make a very custom speaker panel for that. Again, anything is possible. But the big question to do again is, hey Vic, can you flat pack it? I don't build these like gaming solutions where it's Ikea style cam lock. I'm gonna take you in closer, but we'll take a look. Flat pack is difficult because again, I use one by two pine wood strips and they're stapled in. Not one or two, there's about seven staples on each piece. I'll take you in closer so you can fully understand it. So now taking a look at the rear, as you can see, like this right here is a one by two all the way down, secures this panel. This isn't gonna go anywhere. And as you can see, it's all screwed. So, hey Vic, you could still flat pack it. Technically, yes. But again, this is stapled, so it's not gonna be flat. You're gonna have this, this is this batten's gonna be sticking out. But as you can see, entirely battened out, that's just how it is. For the bottom here, those little squares that covers the screws for the casters. Again, I can't really flat pack it. I'm the type of person where I'm gonna construct it. 
I cut this accordingly. I don't put this on the CNC. This is actually track saw cut. This way it all matches perfectly. I really can't flat pack it. I'll be honest, I would rather send this to you completely assembled. Only because I know for a fact you're not gonna have the clamps and you're not gonna get this perfectly squeezed in. As you can see, like the screws here. Yes, unfortunately I cannot flat pack it. I wouldn't trust it. This isn't a MDF Ikea style cabinet. This is just way different. Even when it comes to like the control panel, if I can open it with one hand, you can see, you can even see here, the guides to make sure that it falls in correctly. And again, T-mold slots and all. Oh, there you go. All right guys, well there you guys have it. Let's do a quick summary. This way I talk a lot and I'm trying to make the video shorter. Um, let's just do a quick summary. Again, if you are looking to purchase just the base cabinet alone, you don't need the software, you don't need the computer to it. I do have that option. I could sell you just the base alone. We could do just the control panel alone. I'm getting a lot of people that want pedestals. I could do that too. I could do anything custom made. I do have somebody that wants a custom shooter coming up. Uh, a lot that is possible. Again, that's what's great with me is that I, me and you will talk and we'll figure it out. But again, we could do a base cabinet whether you want artwork or not. Just keep in mind that without the artwork, you will see nicks and dings. That's just a given when it comes to wood from the supply place. If you do want to add the control panel, I could make all the button cutouts, whatever layout you need. Normally, yes, I will also need your hardware for it. If you want me to supply the hardware, obviously there is a fee for it. I could send you my websites that I recommend that you get the buttons and the joysticks from, and you can send it to me. I'm personally the type in this situation, I wouldn't want to supply anything besides the wood, the artwork, and the team molding. That's usually been the trend. Especially when it comes to the 40 terabyte ultimate arcades, I have two different prices where you supply everything and I do my part, but you're supplying everything. I don't sweat my credit card. I don't buy anything as far as hardware wise. Again, I have a lot of options. If you want a base cabinet with a control panel with nothing on it, just like you see here, that is a possibility. You want me to add the buttons and the joysticks that you supplied, I could do that. Make the button configuration. If you want cup holders too, I could do that too. Hey Vic, I want you to also add artwork and T-molding. I could do that as you can see, or I don't want artwork and T-molding. I just want a bare cap. Hey Vic, I need the TV mount. I need the TV also. I could do that too. There's a lot of possibilities. Anything is possible when you're working with me. I think honestly, I, I think so. I, like I said, I made this video because I'm getting a lot of people that say, hey Vic, I just want a base cabinet, I don't want artwork. And then I hit them on a price, like, whoa, how much is it with artwork? And can you do it with Timo? This is why I make these videos, because people ask questions, and hopefully the videos answer them. Um, there you guys have it. Vic VP, Game Case Arcade, stay tuned. I have a lot of buy Vicks coming up. <laughs> That's beautiful.